What's up, butterflies? Happy Monday. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I will show you how I make my chicken empanadas. Yes, you heard right. So, as you can see, I am not making the dough from scratch, girl. You know, I ain't got time for that. So, I'm using this Goya uh, dough right here. You can find this in the frozen section. Can you see it? I, I feel like this is the best brand out there. If you uh, disagree, let me know in the comments below. So over here, this is the seasonings I will be using. And that's the olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. You see the uh, all-purpose hero seasoning. Garlic powder. Under there is the uh, minced garlic. And I have some crushed uh, red pepper flakes. Salt. Uh, black pepper. Garlic powder. And over here are my veggies. I have some. Uh, I have one one onion cut up, and uh, half of a bell a red bell pepper, and the minced garlic there. And also, I have two potatoes that I just cut up, uh, medium like uh, medium dice, and about three tablespoons of the minced garlic. Now over here to save time, I went ahead and steamed my chicken already and uh, just cut it up a little bit. So this is the seasoning that I use for the chicken, okay guys? Just to save time, because I don't want this video to be super long. And over here, I have about a cup of uh, cheddar cheese. If you like the cheese, you can add it. If you don't like cheese, you can, uh, you can leave it out. But I'm telling you, the cheese is gonna make it nice and just delicious, okay? Oh, and by the way, for the chicken, I also, when I was steaming the chicken, I also put two bay leaves in it, okay? So now over here, I have my uh, pan nice and hot on medium. It's nice and hot. So I will add two, about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. All right, guys. So I went ahead and add about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. And I added all my veggies here. So I'm just going to cook it for a good minute or so. Then I'm going to start seasoning my uh, the potatoes and the veggies. So uh, all I'm going to do with this, I just want to add the um, all-purpose seasoning. That's all I'm going to add. Because you remember the chicken is nice and uh, seasoned with all the, uh, all the seasoning I show you. So this right here, it don't need a lot. So I'm just going to add two dashes of the all-purpose seasoning. Because the chicken is nice and tangy and delicious and everything you want to call it okay all right i went ahead and um and added some seasoning the uh the all-purpose creole seasoning just i just eyeballed it you know like i said two dashes of it and if you feel like you need more salt or pepper you can you can go ahead and do that but for me this is just right and guys, another thing I forgot to mention, my friend make this with a little curry powder. If you like, you can, uh, you can use one tablespoon of curry powder and add it to this and baby, that's just gonna give it more flavor. But today I'm gonna make it like this. And I did try that, the curry powder, and it's really good. Or even if you have turmeric, you know turmeric, the yellow powder looking thing. So also you can use that. So just how good does this look, my butterfly friends? And it's just on medium heat, okay? So just, I want the potatoes to be start, I want the potatoes to get a little soft. Then I'm gonna add my chicken, cause you know, the chicken is already cooked. As you can see, butterflies, I went ahead and put my lid on so my potatoes can be, you know, nice and soft, okay? So now this is how it should look. You see that? So you can clearly, clearly tell that the potatoes are starting to get cooked. But just to make sure, let me grab my fork. Oh, yay, baby. Let me see. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It is fork tender. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. Okay, I added my chicken. And like I said, the potatoes is nice and cooked. And you see how, how it's looking? It looks so, it's so delicious. I'm telling you, you can just eat this by itself or just keep on making your empanadas, okay? So now, I am going to turn the stove off and add my cheese. Then at this point, this is complete, this is done. So I'm going to let it cool off. 
then I will start uh, assembling my uh, empanadas. But for, important note, there's, the filling have to be completely, completely cool off. Not hot, not warm, completely cool off. Because if not, uh, the, dough, the dough will fall apart and you don't want that. So I'm going to add my cheese and mix it and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I added my cheese and I mixed it all together. It's well combined. So I'm going to turn the stove off and let it, let it uh, completely cool off. Then after that, it's going to be time to make these empanadas. And today, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I am going to fry it just because, you know, I'm in the mood to fry it. But if you, if you don't want to use all that oil, you can go ahead and put it in the oven. Uh, in a preheated uh, oven at 400 degrees for about for about 30 minutes, uh, 20 to 30, 20. Oh, um, let me just say 20 to 25 minutes because I know the ovens vary. So you can either fry it, bake it, however you want.